Welcome back to part three of the power supply for the black finger. In part two, we determined that the six volt wall wart was going to be sufficient for making plus and minus nine volts. And so we, uh, we're going to plug that in right now and uh, show you that in fact, we've got nine and a half, 9.6 volts plus and 9.6 volts minus coming from this and going to the black finger. And so we've got the negative on the black wire which attaches to the switch. We've got the positive on the red wire which attaches there to the switch. And then we've got that center tap, um, our virtual ground so to speak, um, set on the uh, frame of the, of, the, of the device. We've got our guitar ready. We've got the guitar plugged into the input. From the output we've got this gray cable leading to the Marshall. And we're going to flip the Marshall on, and we're going to see what kind of sound we get from this. this the black finger draws 2 milliamps from each battery, so it didn't change the voltage from the device any at all. 2 milliamp hour, or two, I'm sorry, 2 milliamp pull on each battery. Those batteries are probably 500 milliamp hour. So what does that equate to? Consumption would be 0.7. So you probably get, uh, I don't know, 200 hours if you just left it on. I, I, I'd have to do the math on that. I'm not sure. Probably get about five days leaving that thing on before both batteries are exhausted. Well, that's not good. Stay with me. All right, so here's here's our guitar, and uh, I'm not gonna play anything fancy here. Just gonna we got sustained for days. That's what this pedal is. It's a sustainer. If you remember the Electro Harmonix Black Finger from the '70s, it's just a sustainer. This note will probably hang in there for a long time, but when the note goes away. We've got uh, we've got 120 hertz hum here. Listen, and so you know that's uh, I don't know if you want to record with that pedal or not. Like that might be all right for live. I don't know. I have to ask the owner and see what he wants to do. Um, that may be acceptable. It may not be. If it is acceptable, I'm gonna. Put those parts on this bread on this uh, circuit board here, wire it up, and uh, figure out some way to put it inside this pedal. But again, here's our schematic. I've redrawn it to clean it up a little bit, show uh, everything how it's going to be hooked up. I've added some extra filter caps. I'm only showing two on the board right now, but I've clipped in two more, and it's done a little bit more for the hum. Not an awful lot, but it is just a little bit better than this. And uh, so that's what it is. We're done, and I'm out of here. If there's a part four, see you then.